Help support Name Explain by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. Names are such defining features of everything on this planet. They're personal to us and only us. If someone says the name of a thing, you immediately know what they're talking about, whether that thing be a person, place, or anything in between. And names are prized for their uniqueness. When naming something, people often want something unique that will only be associated with that thing. You can see this with the names people give their companies, or even the names people give to their children. However, this is where things get confusing, because despite how unique and original we all like to think we are of naming things, the same names can pop up all the time. I'm sure a lot of us have had an instance where we meet someone else with the same first name as ourselves, and of course it's hard to resist searching your own name on Google or Facebook or Twitter and seeing all the other people with the exact same name as yourself. It's a weird feeling knowing something so personal to yourself, perhaps the thing you feel defines you most has the exact same effect on someone else somewhere else on the planet. In fact, if you google my name, another Patrick Foot with glasses and similar head and facial hair to myself shows up, which is kinda weird but kinda cool. If you're watching this fellow Patrick Foot, then please get in touch, hashtag Patrick Foot Army. Though it's understandable as to why similar names pop up amongst people, there seems to be only a finite list of words that can be used as given names and surnames that people adhere to using, and of course with the massive amount of people on this planet, it's inevitable that these names are going to be used again, and of course while combining different first names and surnames gives us a higher number of unique names, it's still not a high enough number to make every name original, so the same two names can and will appear across multiple people, as we saw with myself and the other Patrick Foot. Of course, this isn't always the case. Some parents like to give their children truly unique names of their own invention, or people pick unique names for themselves. While on the whole, people choose from a pool of words that have been approved by society to be allowed to be used as first names, this isn't the case when naming other things. Say an example naming a new settlement, whether that be a small town or a whole country, there's a pool of names that we have to pick from for naming locations. We can be as creative as we want to be and string letters together in any way we want to create new names for new places. We can draw inspiration from what's in that location we are naming, to someone important to that location, to even naming it after the day it was discovered. It's truly fantastic. However, I mentioned that we can be as creative as we want to be, and some people on our planet, I'm looking at you Australia, don't want to be that creative, as despite the fact we can name places anything we want to, there are a striking amount of places that share the exact same name. And in all honesty, I'm cool with this. And once again, apologies to Australia. I'm just going to be passive aggressive to your nomenclature and any opportunity I can afford. But yes, there are many places on our planet that not only have similar names, but the exact same names. We've even looked into some of these places before. In example, we have the nation of Georgia and the US state of Georgia, which like I mentioned, has a video unto itself here on Name Explain. An instance of names being the same I find rather interesting was the name of the capital of my nation, London. London is one of those cities it seems that everyone knows and has an image of in their head. In fact, if you say where is London to pretty much anyone on the planet, they would say it's in England. However, the residents of London, Ontario and Canada probably wouldn't say England. They'd say it's right here. I find it crazy hearing that there's a London in Canada too. It's like hearing there's another New York City in Papua New Guinea. And while there isn't an NYC in PNG, New York itself has the same name as York in England. Though of course these aren't the exact same names as one has new at the start of it. However, in some weird scenario, there are also places called New York York in England, and places also called just York in the US, which is all kinds of confusing. Imagine being told you're going to New York and end up here, though if you're watching from New York, Lincolnshire, I'm sure your village is lovely. It can be more than just one name being shared over two places however. Newport is the name of 10 towns just here in Britain alone, how of course it can go way beyond just 10 places too. So let's get to the answer of this question. What is the world's most popular place name? Well, that honour goes to the name San Jose, with there being no fewer than 1,716 places on our planet that have been dubbed at San Jose, which is a crazy amount. If you're watching from one, let me know down in the comments, and let me know what San Jose you're watching from. I imagine it will most likely be San Jose, California, as that is the most populated San Jose on our planet, but it very well might not be, as the capital of Costa Rica is too called San Jose, though it doesn't stop there. As well as there being other San Jose's in the nations of the USA and Costa Rica, there are San San Jose's in Argentina, Belize, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Panama, Paraguay, Puerto Rico, and Uruguay, basically the Americas. However, it's not just a new world where the name San Jose is used as a place name. Of course, the name is present in Spain too, and has even reached as far as the Philippines. So, what is the meaning of this name? Well, I'm not going to explain how all 1,716 San Jose's got their name. Instead, I'm going to focus on San Jose, California. But I get the impression that all these San Jose's are named for the same reason. 
or well at least for similar reasons. San Jose, California was founded on November 29th, 1777 and was the first civilian settlement in California. It was founded by the Spanish and its full official name this time was El Pueblo de San Jose de Guadalupe, which also reflects the name of the nearby Guadalupe River. Eventually however it was shortened to just San Jose, with the city's official name today being the city of San Jose. Interestingly it seems you only need to add the accent to the E when using the full name. If you're writing just San Jose you don't need to add the accent. And of course San Jose is the Spanish spelling of St. Joseph and just to be fair the name Joseph itself comes from the Hebrew Yosef meaning as slash increase. St. Joseph was of course the husband of the Virgin Mary and in turn the foster father of Jesus. Joseph was thought to be a humble hard working man who when he discovered his wife was pregnant with a child of the Lord he knew he had to protect not only his wife but her child too taking on the father figure for the young baby Jesus. Of course this means that Joseph is a very important figure in Christianity. I have no doubt that you realise that most of the countries with a place called San Jose in them are Spanish speaking. So all I can do now is wonder why this name was so popular with the Spanish when they were naming new places. Well simply put religion. In this case Catholicism specifically. The Spanish Empire was strongly Catholic. So in turn named many of their settlements in correlation to their religion. Joseph is seen as an important figure to Catholics as he was entrusted by God to look after Jesus. He was also seen as a figure to represent hard working people which he taught Jesus too. So the next question that comes to my mind is why was it St. Joseph they were all drawn to when it came to naming new places and honestly I have no idea. Though it wasn't just St. Joseph the Spanish named places after. In fact if we look at a list of the world's most popular place names I'm sure you too will notice something of a trend. The top 5 most popular place names in the world from 5 to 1 are San Pedro, Santa Loza, Santa Maria, San Antonio and of course San Jose at number 1. All 5 of the 5 most popular place names in the world are Spanish spellings of the names of Catholic saints. And even beyond the top 5 place names, Spanish names and the names of saints are rife in the list of the world's most popular place names. As we mentioned these names come from the time of Spanish colonisation of the Americas and with Catholicism being such a huge part of the Spanish Empire it seems that their go-to naming convention was the name places after saints of the religion and for one reason or another it was the name of Saint Joseph in Spanish, San Jose, that won out over all the other saints names. Though as we saw the names of other saints trail closely behind San Jose as the world's most popular place name. I mean it makes sense that these saints names would be so popular as the Spanish were so easy to name places after them. With only a finite amount of saints, it was inevitable that their names would be repeated. Though this got me thinking about other most popular names for various places, like for example street names. We don't unfortunately have data for the most popular street name on a worldwide basis, though weirdly enough in the USA the most popular street name is Second Street. Well some argue it's Park Street but shush. Regardless if it's Park or Second, it's clear that Second Street is a more popular name for a street than First Street. In fact both Second and Third Street are more popular than 1st Street. In a list of most popular US street names, 2nd is 1st, 3rd is 2nd and 1st is 3rd, which is just a tad confusing. How on earth are 2nd and 3rd more popular than 1st? Surely you need a 1st Street to even have a 2nd and 3rd Street, right? Apparently an idea as to why this is the case is because a lot of towns wouldn't name their first street first street, but rather main street. So while there are more main streets and first streets combined than second street, it's still two very different names. Over here in the UK however the most popular street name is High Street. I'm sure UK viewers right now are like oh yeah that makes sense, but I don't really know if the concept of a high street really exists outside of the UK. From what I've read the high street is the UK version of main street. It's the street in a town where most of the shops and businesses are located, with the reason they're called high streets due to being the fact that in old English high meant main, it has nothing to do with the street's elevation. In fact you still see high used in this sense in other parts of language like highway being the main way, or even with the UK title of high lord admiral. But anyway like I said high street is the most popular street name here in the UK as pretty much all towns and cities and villages have a high street. Staying on UK centric names I wanted to look into what the most popular pub name was here in England and found that it's the red lion with this name having an interesting story unto itself. However I may hold off on that one as I'd love to do a whole video about pub names. I even have this book at the ready to help with research so if you'd like to see that video then let me know. Though finally I want to end with this fun article I found online in which people were asked what they thought was the most popular place name. One person said McDonald's which I can see the logic behind while someone else just said home which I think is really sweet. San Jose was suggested by Parker Hines and thanks to their suggestion they will now be 
honoured as name explains patron saint of San Jose. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just one dollar a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you so much to all my awesome patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain really does depend on small donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just the small amount of $2 a month helps in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Stick around and check out another video and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Name Explain. You can follow myself on Twitter at NameExplainYT. Follow me there and tweet the name Mary at me so I know you came from this message. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.